Hey friends, it's Robert. So March 17th is St. Patrick's Day, and being someone of Irish descent, I felt compelled to mark the occasion with a special DIY. So today, we are gonna be recreating that most iconic of Irish symbols, the clover. And if you like the look of today's project, I want to invite you to subscribe to my own channel for more great DIYs by following the link in the video description below. Now the clover, or the shamrock as it's also known, has long been the traditional symbol of Ireland. It's commonly seen in this beautiful trefoil or three-leaf design, but if you find a four-leaf clover, it's considered really lucky, and in today's DIY, I'll show you how to make both of them. The material I'm going to be using today is a great German crepe paper. I love this paper because it's got a beautiful weight and texture to it. It's also double-sided, so each side is a slightly different shade of green. It's inexpensive, and I'll include sources and links in the video description below. Now if you look at the clover, you see that each of the leaves is heart-shaped, and the way I've been cutting them out is by just using a heart-shaped paper punch. It makes for quick work of it and ensures that each leaf is the same size and shape as the previous one. Crepe paper is a little bit softer than standard paper. If you were to place it into a punch by itself, it would likely just stretch and tear. One way I found to get around that is by placing a piece of copy weight paper on top of the crepe paper, sticking them both into the paper punch, and that seems to do the trick. For the first clover, I'm gonna punch out three of the heart shapes and then fold each of them in half. For the stems, I'm going to use a lightweight 28 gauge cloth wrapped floral wire. Cut three pieces of equal length. Take one of the pieces of wire, dip the end into some glue, and then place it right into the fold of one of the hearts. Press the paper around it to secure it in place, and then open the leaf slightly. Set it aside to dry for just about a minute. Do this for all three of the leaves. Once the leaves are dry, we're going to stack them together side by side and begin twisting the wire right below the crepe paper. Twist it all the way down to create one continuous stem. And then we'll readjust the leaves to form the clover shape. Now, these paper punches come in several sizes. I'm going to create a second one in a smaller size, adding one more leaf to create a four-leaf clover. Again, we're going to punch out all of our pieces, fold them in half, cut out four pieces of wire, dip them in glue, place them into the folds, pinch it to secure it, and then open them back up. Set them all aside and allow them to dry for about a minute. Once all of the leaves are dry, we'll stack them side by side, again twisting the wire together right below the crepe paper, creating one long continuous stem. Readjust the leaves to form the clover shape. So you see the clovers come together pretty quickly, so it actually doesn't take long to put together a little bouquet. How you display them is really up to you. I found these great moss-covered styrofoam balls at my local floral supply store. When I place the clovers into them, I'm able to make a great tabletop display. You can bundle a few of the clovers together, place them on a napkin for a lovely place setting. And you can even wrap some tin foil around the base of some of the clovers to use as cupcake or cake toppers. I do hope you'll give this project a try. Thank you so much for watching. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and join me next time for another fun DIY project.